Freaks and Geeks is an American teen comedy drama television series, created by Paul Feig with Judd Apatow as executive producer, that aired on NBC during the 1999 Euro 2000 television season. Eighteen episodes were completed, but the series was cancelled after only 12 had aired. A fan-led campaign persuaded NBC to broadcast three more episodes in July 2000. The three remaining unaired episodes were not seen until September of that year, when the cable network Fox Family Channel aired them in syndication. The complete series was later released on DVD, and is available on Netflix. Freaks and Geeks has a devoted cult following. The series appeared on Time Magazine's 2007 100 Greatest Shows of All Time list, as well as placing third on their list of the greatest television shows of the 2000s. In 2007, Freaks and Geeks ranked number 21 on TV Guide's top cult shows ever. In 2008, Entertainment Weekly ranked it the 13th best series of the past 25 years. The same year, AOL TV named it the best school show of all time. In 2013 TV Guide included it in its list of the 60 greatest dramas of all time, and ranked it number one on their list of 60 shows that were cancelled too soon. It launched several of its young actors into successful television and film careers. Plot The show centers on teenage Lindsay Weir and her younger brother Sam, who both attend William McKinley High School during the 1980 Euro 1981 school year in the town of Chippewa, Michigan, a fictional suburb of Detroit. Lindsay's friends constitute the freaks a Euro Daniel Desario, Ken Miller, Nick Andopoulos, Kim Kelly a Euro and Sam's friends constitute the geeks a Euro Neil Schweiber and Bill Havertchuk a Euro of the title. The Weir's parents, Harold and Jean, are featured in every episode. Millie Kentner, Lindsay's nerdy, highly religious former best friend, is a recurring character, as is Cindy Sanders, the attractive, popular cheerleader on whom Sam has a crush. The show's starting point is Lindsay's transition from her life as an academically proficient student, star mathlete, and proper young girl to an army jacket wearing teenager who hangs out with troubled slackers. Her relationships with her new friends, and the friction they cause with her parents and with her own self-image, form one central strand of the show. The other follows Sam and his group of geeky friends as they navigate a different part of the social universe, and try to fit in, cast and characters. Recurring roles included Chauncey Leopardy, Sean Weiss, Joel Hodgson, Trace Bewley, Joanna Garcia, Kayla Ewell, Lizzie Kaplan, Claudia Christian, Samari Armstrong, Ben Foster, and Kevin Tige. Guest stars and cameo appearances One episode guest stars included David Koechner, Kevin Corrigan, Jason Schwartzman, David Crumholz, Alan Cover, Rashida Jones, Alex Breckenridge, Matt Zutri, Shia Labioff, Alexander Gould, Bianca K. Leitch, Jack Conley and Ben Stiller. Leslie Mann, Judd Apatow's wife, guest starred on one episode as a teacher. The show's producers were resistant to stunt casting. For example, they resisted the network's suggestion that they have Ptney Spears appear as a waitress in one episode. They thought such appearances would detract from the show's realism. Several of the screenwriters appeared on the show. Mike White played Kim Kelly's oft-discussed injured brother, first appearing in the fourth episode, Kim Kelly is My Friend. Paul Feig and Gabby Sachs appear uncredited as members of the fictional band I mention in I'm With The Band. Michael Andrews, the original score composer for the series, played the role of Dimension's lead singer. Opening Sequence The series' opening sequence depicts each of the main characters, with the exception of Kim Kelly and Harold and Jean Weir having their high school yearbook photo taken as the song Bad Reputation by Joan Jett and the Black Hearts plays. Episodes The show ran for 18 episodes, three of which were unaired by NBC and not seen until Fox Family began running the show in 2000, and the final three episodes were premiered at the Museum of Television and Radio prior to being broadcast on television. The list is ordered by the chronology of the storyline. The show averaged 6.77 million viewers and was number 93 in the rankings during its only season. The script for the pilot episode of Freaks and Geeks was written by Paul Feig as a spec script. Feig gave the script to Judd Apatow, who sold it to DreamWorks, 
where Arpito was under an overall deal. That company, in turn, sold it to NBC, who quickly greenlit the script as a pilot. Before the script was shot, Beag wrote a second episode at the behest of Arpito. He showed the second script to Arpito and pilot director Jake Corstan, and they suggested that he combine the two episodes to form a stronger pilot. Notable additions in this new draft included the introduction of the character Kim Kelly and Lindsay Weir's recollection of her grandmother's death. Beag wrote a final draft after a read through with the cast, this time incorporating into the episode a first formal meeting between Lindsay and the Freaks. Three of the episodes are Euro Kim Kelly is My Friend, Dead Dogs and Gym Teachers, and Noshing and Noshing were not aired during the initial NBC broadcast, but were later aired on Fox Family. Initial airing occurred on Fox Family. Media releases, DVDs, on April 6, 2004, a six-DVD Freaks and Geeks box set was released through Shout. Factory. A limited yearbook edition set including two additional discs was also available through the official website for the show. Fans who had signed an online petition to get the show on DVD got priority in purchasing the special set. On November 25, 2008, the deluxe yearbook edition boxed set was re-released. The set features all of the episodes, commentaries, and special features of the complete Series 6 DVD set, plus two extra discs and deluxe packaging. It is packaged as an 80-page color yearbook with essays, pictures, and episode synopses. Books In October 2004, two Freaks and Geeks books were released, titled Freaks and Geeks, The Complete Scripts, Volume 1 and Freaks and Geeks, The Complete Scripts, Volume 2. Both published by New Market Press, each book covers nine scripts from the series as compiled by Paul Feig and Judd Apatow themselves. Extra content includes behind-the-scenes memos and notes, photos, additional plot lines and excerpts from the Freaks and Geeks series Bibles. Soundtrack one of the distinguishing characteristics that separated Freaks and Geeks from similar television series at the time was its soundtrack. The creators made it a priority to feature genuine, period-specific music that would help to create the tone of the show. Clearing such names as The Who, Van Halen, Rush, Styx, The Grateful Dead, The Moody Blues, and Billy Joel would prove to require much of the show's budget. Eventually, this would become an obstacle in releasing the show on DVD due to the difficulty and expense of clearing all of the music rights for the series. Many television shows had music cues changed or removed in order to facilitate relatively inexpensive DVD releases, as was done for Freaks and Geeks when it was seen in reruns on Fox Family. However, the creators chose to wait to release the DVD until they could find a company willing to pay for the original music. Shout. Factory, a music and video company specializing in comprehensive reissues and compilations, eventually brought Freaks and Geeks to DVD with all of its music intact. Awards and nominations, the series received three Emmy Award nominations, creator Paul Feig was nominated twice for Outstanding Writing for a Comedy Series, for Pilot, and Discos and Dragons. It won for Outstanding Casting for a Comedy Series. It was nominated for two Television Critics Association Awards, for New Program of the Year and Outstanding Achievement in Drama. For acting, the series won for Best Family TV Series a Euro Comedy and was nominated for Best Performance in a TV Series a Euro Young Ensemble at the Young Artist Awards. For the Young Star Awards, John Francis Daly and Sarah Hagen were nominated for Best Young Actor Performance in a Comedy TV Series and the Ensemble was nominated for Best Young Ensemble Cast a Euro Television. The series also received several other nominations in other categories. Undeclared and Beyond In 2001, several of the actors featured in Freaks and Geeks appeared in a new Judd Apatow College half-hour comedy called Undeclared, which aired on Fox Network. Apatow fought with the network to include freaks and geeks actors, but picked up only Seth Rogen as a regular cast member. However, Jason Settle became a recurring character, Sam Levine, Busy Phillips and Natasha Mulnick guest starred in multi-episode arcs, as did prominent freaks and geeks guest stars Steve Banos and David Crumholz. Martin Starr was prominent in another episode, 
and a scene with Sarah Hagen was shot, although it was cut for television broadcast. The show was also cancelled during its first season. In June 2010, it was announced that IFC had acquired the rights to air both Freaks and Geeks and Undeclared. Freaks and Geeks' 18-episode run on IFC finished with all episodes having aired as of October 29, 2010. Undeclared's IFC run began on November 5, 2010. Both shows have also joined Teen Nick's lineup as of June 13, 2011. Freaks and Geeks is currently airing on FXX. A reunion of several cast members and producers of both shows took place at the Paley Center for Media's Paley Fest on March 12, 2011. In May 2013, Seth Rogen said Hey Euro, and a Thursa Euro would be open to appearing in a Freaks and Geeks film, but Paul Feig played down the idea. References External links Freaks and Geeks at the Internet Movie Database Freaks and Geeks at TV.com, Official Website A Euro Freaks Perspective, Official Website A Euro Geeks Perspective, Further Reading, Bo, John. The Trouble with Paul Feig. The New York Times. Koski, Genevieve. Paul Feig Walks Us Through Freaks and Geeks. The AV Club. Lloyd, Robert. Paul Feig. What would a Euro unregistered trademark they happen to every character in Freaks and Geeks a Euro unregistered trademark last second season? Vanity Fair. Lloyd, Robert. Too Good to Be Forgotten, an oral history of Freaks and Geeks. Vanity Fair.